Mathieu from ShapeDiver and today I'll introduce the import components of the ShapeDiver plugin. So the import components are a classic feature which allow um, end users of ShapeDiver models to control uh, the geometry uh, that's used as input. So they can upload their own files um, to the ShapeDiver model. So I'll show how this works through this simple definition here. I have this first version with a static mesh, uh, which I can control, I can uh, stretch in all directions. And I am uh, using the shadow display component to display it in the web browser. Well, so when I upload this file to ShapeDiver, I get pretty much what I, one would expect. I get my uh, static mesh, the sphere, I can stretch it and uh, control it through the, the inputs I defined in Grasshopper. Now, uh, the goal here is to let the users of my ShapeDiver model um, replace the sphere with any geometry of their choice. For this um, purpose, I can use the import geometry component of the ShapeDiver plugin and connect it to my definition uh, in place of the previous static mesh. Now, to uh, notes, I can right click on the component and define uh, a name for it, which will be used online, for example, upload your mesh. And I can also here um, define some properties in particular, which file formats are allowed. By default here, they're all allowed, but I could only allow 3DM or an OBJ, for example. So when I upload this uh, file to ShapeDiver, I get uh, pretty much the same controls here, but on top of them, I get this new Upload Your Mesh, as I named it, uh, file input component. And now, since I allowed all uh, file formats, I can, for example, choose a box, 3DM box file as input, upload it to the model, and it will be used as input uh, to the definition. Now I can uh, process it through my algorithm uh, as one would expect. So, the issue here is that if I remove the file input, uh, so before users upload any file, uh, the viewer is empty because no, no geometry is defined. So I could here use a filter uh, and test here if this object is null. And if the object is null, use a default geometry instead, right? Uh, in, instead of not displaying anything. But uh, instead, I can use another feature of this import component, which is this URL input here. The URL input can be used to define default fallback geometry that will be used if, uh, if the user has not uploaded any geometry yet. So here, for example, I have this uh, bunny mesh uh, stored in a public URL. And if I use it as input of the component, I can see that it's downloaded through this component and process through my definition as I expected. So I can hide it, for example, and I can see here that everything happens to uh, this uploaded um, mesh. So now if I upload this definition, I get the same interface as uh, previously, except before uploading any file here, I can see the bunny that I defined as fallback. But of course, if I again upload my own geometry, for example, this 3DM box file, uh, this uploaded geometry will replace my fallback uh, mesh. And I can again uh, use it. Here. If I remove the file here, I am back to my um, default mesh. So that's already uh, pretty powerful, but one can take this one step further and instead of having this as a static default geometry, uh, define also um, a dynamic uh, URL input through the ShapeDiver text input component. So here I can use the text input component and use my URL as default text, right? And replace the text panel with the text input component. And here I see no change, but as we know, the text input component will allow this text to be customized also in the ShapeDiver model. So if I upload this last version of the file to ShapeDiver, I get the same interface with one more input, which uh, uh, is named default mesh URL, because here I named it default mesh URL. 
and uh, I can see that my default text here is used, the bunny.obj uh, uh, URL, but I can use any uh, URL instead. For example, I, I could replace this with uh, my fence.obj mesh, and it will be used instead, right? But whatever uh, URL I have here, used as default as fallback, it will be overridden if users upload their own file here. So again, I could upload uh, my box here, and this will be used instead, right? So as, even now, if I even remove this URL, it does not have any effect because this uploaded file takes precedence over the fallback that I defined here. If I remove it here, it will be empty, and I can again copy a URL as default. Right, so the, the URL input is good to, again, as I mentioned, to define a fallback geometry if no geometry is uploaded. But it's also good in the context of uh, web applications where the input should be stored in a URL um, if your application uses a file storage system, for example, uh, or if it's connected to other um, parts of your application in general. Uh, here, in, in the context of the platform, it's uh, pretty um, useful as an administrative tool, let's say, to define and to be able to change the default uh, geometry that's used, but it can be hidden from the users who can then only see the file upload um, control here, right? So that's a way to use the um, import uh, geometry component in the, an advanced way. And note that I introduced the import geometry component, but there's other import components, an import bitmap components, an import text file component, and even an import stream component, which allows to uh, upload files as memory streams and process them inside the definition. So that's it for today. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.